fourth and final hour of the WJBC Midday Show. I'm your host, the TV guy on the radio, Mark Strauss, reminding you that tonight we have Monday Night Football here on WJBC. The Bears and the Rams. The Bears are 5-1. and one. They're an ugly 5-1, and one, but they're 5-1. and one. And they're going to be out in L.A. tonight taking on the Rams, who are 4-2. And, and you'll hear coverage of Monday Night Football, Bears and Rams, tonight on WJBC, starting with pregame at 6.30, kickoff shortly after 7 o'clock. Well, every month we get together with the Small Business Development Center at Illinois Wesleyan University, and normally we will spotlight a local small business that has been assisted by the SBDC. But today we're going to concentrate on some new members of the staff at the SBDC. They're Julie Workman, Lynn Westoff, and Gabriella Montaigne. I hope I pronounced both of those names right. And they join us on the telephone right now in our Small Business Development Center segment. Julie, Lynn, Gabriella, how are you? Doing great, Mark. How are you? I'm good. Hey, let's. I want to explain up front that uh, the reason that the SBDC was able to add all of you was through a grant from the CARES Act. Uh, the SBDC received $175,000 in funding through the end of next year. Uh, Julie, I think uh, you were going to start off here. Tell us, tell us what you do, and tell us, you know, about uh, what the SBDC, you know, what compelled you to join them, and what you expect to be doing for them. Well, I'm I'm excited to have joined the SBDC, Mark. I got to tell you, I've I've been helping small businesses here in Bloomington, Normal, in McLean County. Ever since I went to work at the Panagraph as a classified advisor way back in 1990. So working at the SBDC is just a new way to apply my skills and experience and kind of leverage my, my community network to help even more small businesses as we face what you know are increasingly uncertain times. Um, so what I'm doing is handling all of the programming for the Small Business Development Center. I'm scheduling the programming and the events and the seminars for 2021. Our goal is to have at least two seminars each month on topics that are of interest to our clients and our future clients. And you can find more information about all those things on our website. So that's a little bit about me and what I'm doing at the SBDC. And by the way, we should mention the website, since you brought it up, is org. All right, uh, Gabriella, how about you? Uh, hi. So I am from Venezuela, and I work at SBDC as a business advisor for the minorities. And about my experience, I went to the university in my country, and I have a business administration degree. My specialty is marketing. And my responsibility is to provide, uh, provide advice and the necessary resources to a small business. Um, really, uh, SBDC is really interested in supporting my community because there are a significant number of Hispanic entrepreneurs and businesses in McLean County. And I think it's a great opportunity for my community and for me. And I know that through my experience and knowledge, I can support them and help the market uh, more diversity. All right. And finally, Lynn Westoff, who is one of the new members of the SBDC. And uh, she happens to be the sister-in-law of my boss, Dan Westoff. I didn't know she was going to be on today. Lynn, how about you? What, uh, what will you be doing with the SBDC? Well, uh, Mark, I'm a, uh, going to be the business advisor for the uh, McLean County villages and the towns outside of Bloomington and Normal. Uh, and I've been a lifetime resident of uh, central Illinois, mostly in McLean County and almost always in uh, the Olympia School District. I have a passion for small business and I'm hoping to be able to assist them in any way that I can. Uh, my father was an international harvester dealer back in the old days in McLean and then a Case International dealer in Streeter and Minunk. And, uh, I've taught business classes 
from Pontiac to Lincoln and the Rab Road uh, uh, building since sort of the last 20 years. And uh, I'm just looking forward to um, uh, serving the clients in McLean County. And uh, don't hold that against me that I'm related to Dan because it's my husband, really, <laughs> that is his brother, okay? Well, I, w- I wasn't going to hold it against you, and uh, that, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, okay. Let's 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 talk a little bit. We're talking with uh, Julie Workman, Gabriella Montaigne, and Lynn Westoff, who are the newest staff members of the Small Business Development Center at Illinois Wesleyan University. Every month we get together with Karen Bassoni, the director, and she'll be along in a few minutes, along with uh, usually spotlight a small business that's been helped or is being helped and assisted by the SBDC. But today we're spotlighting these three new staff members who have been brought aboard thanks to a grant from the CARES Act. Uh, Before we go to a break, maybe one or all of you could quickly tell me what you've learned so far. It sounds like you've all got a great background in business and promoting business, but what have you learned so far since you've been at the SBDC? Oh, hey, Mark, this is Julie, and I will tell you what has surprised me the most is um, part of my job is doing, like, the process of new client intake, and I have been super surprised at the number of new clients that want to join up with the Small Business Development Center every day. I mean, I thought it would be two or three clients a week, but it's not. It's lots more than that. And so that just tells me there's, there's a big need in the community for the kind of work that we do at the SBDC. That's, that's my big revelation so far. Yeah, I think probably in this environment with businesses struggling, particularly small businesses, depending on what it is they do, uh, it is probably a blessing to have an organization like the SBDC right here in McLean County right now. Uh, very quickly, Gabriella, Lynn, how about yourselves? What, what have you learned? Gabby, first, uh, what have you learned so far since being at the SBDC? I have learned to improve my relationship with people, and I have learned that our time doesn't give up, and adapt and be creative in the face of changes. Lynn? Well, similar to Julie, I've just been kind of surprised at the number of people that have uh, reached out to to the center for assistance with their small businesses and the variety of clients that we're serving, you know, in the in the rural areas, you know, uh, from photographers to uh, pepper growers, and it just kind of, or seed pepper seeds, and uh, it just kind of amazes me that uh, these hardworking people are are starting businesses and and developing them here in McLean County. Yeah, and with respect to that, let's just repeat the website so that if anybody who's listening within the sound of our voices uh, has some interest or questions, maybe they're trying to get a business off the ground or they have a business that they haven't had up and running for that long and they're looking for some guidance on any number of topics, the website for the Small Business Development Center at Illinois Wesleyan University is org. Well, Julie, Lynn, Gabriella, good luck to you, and thanks for being on the program. And we're going to take a break here, and when we come back, we'll get together with the director of the Small Business Development Center, Karen Bassoni. She's got her Small Business Tip of the Month and also some upcoming events that she'd like to tell us about. That's coming up next on WJBC. Welcome back to the Midday Show with the TV Guy on the radio. My name is Mark Strauss. On the phone, we've got the director of the Small Business Development Center at Illinois Wesleyan University, Karen Bassoni. You heard from her newest staff members and now from the director herself. Karen, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you, Mark. And yourself? I'm doing fine. For a Monday, I'm doing okay. Hey, let's. Uh, you always have a Small Business Development Center tip of the month, so let's get to that. My tip of the month, shop early, shop small. Just encouraging the public to shop small business. Please get out and support all the McLean County small businesses, whether they're in Bloomington Normal, whether they're in the villages. We have so many small businesses that um, that are ready to help you and serve you. You know, small businesses are struggling right now with this through this pandemic, it's it's tough. Uh, they have restrictions how many can come in if they have a storefront. 
Um, they're having um, uh, some challenges with balancing how much inventory to keep um, uh, within their business as well as the amount of labor that's needed. Because as consumers, we're spending um, irregularly from day to day since the COVID started. Small business appreciate uh, the, the public spending money and especially spending money on them. And I just want to encourage uh, the public, please put small business first and make your Christmas list or make your holiday list out uh, as soon as possible and go shop small business. I'd also like to segue into upcoming events we have. On Tuesday, November 10th, we're offering our first sexual harassment prevention, Train the Trainer. Every business has to train their employees once a year now on uh, sexual harassment prevention. And we have a, a webinar coming up. Uh, and Dave Marvin, who is an Illinois Wesleyan professor and attorney, is going to be presenting He's an expert on the topic. It's 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and you'll need to register on our website. And then the second event we have is November 18th, which is a Wednesday, How to Start a Business in Illinois, sponsored by Busey Bank. Again, it's a webinar, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and you'll need to register on the website www.mclaincoSBDC.org. All right, very good. Uh, that's the website. Anytime you want to uh, get any information, go there. If you're a small business or you know someone with a small business who maybe could use some assistance, they have a question, it's a difficult time to navigate. Doing business is hard anyway. It's a difficult time to navigate it. Uh, and all their events and seminars are up there right now. Karen, thanks for being on the show. Thanks to Gabriella, Lynn, and Julie also, and good luck to them as, I guess, how long have they been there now, Karen? They have been in the center since August 31st. Okay, so they're, just, they're kind of just so getting their feet months. wet, yeah. That's right, and okay. they're, but they're, they're doing a great job, and, and we're real excited to uh, have a lot more presence in the rural communities and with our minority small businesses the Latino, Hispanic populations, as well as African-Americans. And uh, Angela and I are handling a lot of the uh, blooming to normal clients. So we're a team and uh, working hard to make it happen for small business. All right. Bigger and better. The Small Business Development Center at Illinois Wesleyan University on WJBC.